Hey what's up guys, it is Psycho Sam here and welcome back to the channel and today I'm really excited to bring you guys a brand new tutorial series on my channel where we're going to be talking about editor extension in Unity and I'm going to teach you guys how to create your own assets and own editor extensions by using the uh, editor extension in C Sharp. So we're obviously going to be using C Sharp for this so that we are going to support the latest updated language. And to start off with, I just want to thank you so much for all the support on my latest videos and my channel lately. Um, I also got my new computer. If you're following me on Twitter, you probably already know this, but a GTX 1070 um, i7 and then a 24 gig RAM. So I will link a little bit more information about that in the description down below and um, leave a comment if you have any feedback, if you have any thoughts on this video, if you have any thoughts on my new computer specs and leave a like on the video if you enjoy it, hit subscribe if you want to stay up to tune for new episodes coming soon and with that being said, let's get started with this. So first and foremost, we're obviously going to create a folder for ourselves and I'm going to call this one for scripts. This is going to be the folder where we're going to locate all our normal scripts, not the editor scripts. Speaking of which, we're going to create a new folder and call this editor. And editor folder, like the scripts folder, is not necessary for you to have a editor extension. But in order to have a editor extension, you need this folder called editor. And this can be located anywhere. It doesn't have to be necessarily inside the root folder assets. Um, you can literally drag and drop it inside of our scripts folder like you can do literally whatever you want and you can have you may have several different editor folders they just have to be inside of the editor folders that's literally the only rule here so first and foremost we're gonna go to the scripts folder and we're gonna create a new C sharp script and we're going to say I mean we can call this like a really random name but maybe maybe like player information or maybe even like just player all right and now we're gonna go to editor we're gonna create a new C sharp script and this one is gonna be called player editor now we're gonna go to scripts we're gonna drag and drop the player script onto our main camera uh, this is a very rogue or raw <laughs> example but you don't have to drag and drop the editor uh, editor script that you created into the a game object. That's literally just going to be inside of the editor folder for telling Unity that, hey, this is a editor script and you're supposed to use this so that we can customize the inspector or whatever kind of window you're creating. Uh, we're going to get into Windows soon, but as, uh, it's a little bit more difficult. So I thought that I would start with inspectors and make it a little bit more easy for you guys and then get into um, editor windows as well, because it's, it's not that difficult, but I want to start with the basics first. So yeah, with that being said, you just drag and drop the player script here. And now we can actually go to our editor folder and open up the player editor script. So this is where the fun begins. And oh gosh, I still have Mono Develop. <laughs> it's a new computer. You're going to have to, I'll apologize for this, but it's a new computer. I don't have Visual Studio yet. Um, unfortunately, uh, this is a very terrible, terrible um, theme right here. It's a white theme, but I guess I'll have to go with this one so far. Or maybe we can have like Nightshade, Mono K. Uh, I don't know. I'll 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 keep it like this, or this. Yeah. Okay, this. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry for this, but it's a little bit just side tracking. So, and I promise I will download Visual Studio again. Like I haven't migrated everything yet. Uh, I migrated so much information, but not everything. I didn't have time. But still, we can use Mono Develop. It's not a problem. It's literally the same except for the theme, etc. But now what we're going to do here is we can actually start off by uh, we can add a new using statement and we can say using unity editor. Right. And now instead of instead of um, mono behavior, we're going to have it like editor. And we're also going to make it a little bit more easy for ourselves. And above the public class that we have created here, we're going to say uh, the like rectangular bracket first and then we're gonna say custom editor inside of parentheses type of and then the script name of the regular script that this editor script is supposed to be a editor extension of which is player in that case because we created the 
uh, player script and then this the script is also created which is named player editor so we obviously have to use the player script regular uh, the regular script itself so that's pretty much it and then after you do that you can actually go into the scripting part and you can say public void or public override void uh, on inspector GUI right and this is going to be the normal void like the main void that is going to override the inspector just as it says so when you have this it's going to create a empty inspector for the uh, for the script itself so what we can actually do here we can say like GUI layout dot text uh, or label test and this is just to test it and show you guys have what I mean GUI layout dot label we say that we are using something a a type from GUI layout and we're using a label so we're creating a label aka text and instead of parentheses, we type in the text that we want to show in the inspector, which is test. We can also just write like Saiku TV <laughs> sponsorship. <laughs> All right, so we can go back to Unity. Let me just drag Unity. There we go. Um, we can go back to Unity, go to our main camera, and you'll see that Saiku TV sponsorship is there. Oh, how convenient. Have you guys checked this guy out? Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and if we remove this part, I guess. I believe it's still going to be completely empty. Yeah, yeah. So it's almost like you're unfolding it or like folding it, uh, which is kind of cool. Like it, it just really shows you that you have full control of this. Um, if you're creating like a script that's re necessary for it to be actually present inside of a game object, but you don't really want to show, show any kind of specific information, you could just have it like this and it's going to be completely empty. It's going to take a little bit more time because you're going to have to create the script and create a little bit of codes, but it's still, you know, it's worth crafting together. So um, now this is just a very basic way of setting it up. So what I'm going to show you guys now is actually how to implement the normal script into our editor script because we obviously want to be able to use variables, right? So I'm going to get into a little bit of basics and then we're going to end the video and go a little bit over the conclusion, like conclude what we did in this video so that we learn from it. Um, and in the next episode, we're obviously going to focus a lot more on the functionality, the back end, and we're also going to get into front end, which means that we're going to design the inspector itself. Um, here, we can just begin with removing this. There we go. Um, now we can just say like public float, uh, or maybe like even string um, text to be shown. That's a long name for a variable. <laughs> um, all right, so what we can now do is, let's see here, we can go back to our uh, editor script and we can say player um, target script. Like this is a variable that you're gonna use for referring to the player script. And we're gonna say target script for the moment being, but we can edit the name anytime. And then we're going to set it equal to inside of parentheses uh, player target. There we go. So now you're basically telling Unity that you're setting the player script to, or like you're creating a new variable of the player type, the script itself, and you're calling the variable for a target script. And then you're setting it equal to be the player script in target mode, which means that whatever, you, whenever you type this, it's going to target the player script and read off of its information, data, and any other kind of variable you have inside of it and functions. So if we jump a little bit down and we can just say like, uh, maybe target script could have even be called like player script. And then we can say player script dot uh, text to be shown, you can see that it's already popping up in the list and we can now set it to be like um, uh, editing text from the editor extension. All right, uh, maybe like an exclamation mark. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a OCD type of guy. So uh, we can actually go here. Let's see now. Um, Oh, we're not showing it. So we can also say GUI layout dot label like I would like we did before. And now we can just say a player script dot text to be shown. 
and now we're going to show the text we're actually setting to a string. So you can see we're setting it to editing text from the editor extension and then we're showing it inside of here as well. So that's how you use the target mode or I like calling it target mode. I don't, I'm not really sure of the original name, but I like calling it target mode because it's pretty much a target mode. You're just targeting the script that you're writing in here, like the one you're referring to. Um, yeah, like that's a very, like a very, very easy example, but I can also show you like, we can, we can go to the player script. We can say public float, um, I don't know, random number and then set it to like 50. And we can go here and we can be like plus um, player script dot random number. And it's gonna show the number as well. Even though with without a, yeah, there is no space. I'm so disturbed by that. <laughs> I'm legitimately like triggered about that. But anyway, guys, that's a very, very easy example of how to use the editor extension in a custom, a custom inspector. Like that's how you create it. We're obviously going to go through every single one of these GUI layouts that we have available for usage. And if you have any feedback, like this is a, this is a, this is going to be a tutorial series, which is going to be based a lot upon your guys' suggestions, your feedback, your, what you actually want to see on the channel being made, right? So if you want to see a typical, like a very specific type of GUI layout, a function, how to use something in the inspector menu, how to create a editor window that we're going to get into the, in the future episodes. Um, let me know in the comments. Like I do take some feedback from you guys, or I do, I do take a lot of feedback from you guys. And I want to make the videos that you guys are going to enjoy as well. And I want, because I obviously want to be able to teach you guys this and not only teach, but I also want to be able to inspire. So anyway, like I said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit the like button down below. It really supports me a lot. And also leave a comment, like I said, leaving or stating what you actually think of this series. If you think it's cool, if you think it's boring, if you have any feedback for me, um, I really want to know what you guys think of this series so that I can either continue or cancel it. N not cancel it, it's very rough to say that, but like, I want to be able to know which one I should focus on, like in terms of which tutorial series you guys actually enjoy. So let me know and hit subscribe if you want to stay up to tune for new episodes of this series and a lot of different cool content. There are a lot of level designs coming up. I've been promising this for a while now, <laughs> but it's coming up. Don't worry about that. And um, there are also some other tutorial videos along with this one. So let me know, like I said, and subscribe if you want to stay up to tune for new videos coming soon. And I will catch you guys in the comments. See you guys. Peace out. Bye-bye.